Hello and welcome to yet another worked exercise from Python for Informatics, Exploring Information. My name is Charles Severance and I'm your uh, exercise coach. I'm your uh, personal trainer, your uh, personal assistant. Welcome to the uh, software development gym. Uh, this material, of course, is uh, copyright Creative Commons, as is the textbook as well. So just make sure when you're using these exercises that uh, you're using them properly. Uh, particularly if you take in this class um, and you have an assignment that includes this exercise, you probably should try it first. I mean, these exercises are there so that you learn the material. And if, uh, if you just sort of take the crutch every time, then you won't learn to, to do things on your own. So, enough of that lecturing. Um, other details you can get from pythonlearn.com. So today we're uh, contemplating exercise 6.9. And our goal is to write some code to parse lines that uh, start with this something blah, 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 colon. And then we're going to chop off the second half and convert it to a floating point number. Uh, in a later chapter, we'll do this in a loop. But uh, for now, we're just going to like hack one line and just see what it, what it looks like. Okay. And so, um, so this one's kind of a silly one, but uh, we'll do it any we'll do it anyway. So this one, let's grab this string while we're at it, and uh, start up text wrangler. Oh, the last exercise is still there. Uh, start up text wrangler, and um, start up a terminal program. In my terminal program, I'll go to my desktop, I'll go to Python for Informatics folder, and I'm going to paste that string in. And I'm just going to call my string x for now, and I'll put this in a string. Later, you'll be reading this from a file. But this exercise is not to read anything from a file. This exercise is just to parse that string. So it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, we'll print x just for yucks. We could make it so it would prompt for this string in a loop or something like that, but uh, we'll we'll leave that for now. We're just gonna our job is just hacking and slashing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the find function in the string library. Uh, make a variable called position, and we're gonna say x dot find colon. It's like where is that colon at? Print position. And uh, we're going to save this guy as um, spam And of course, the colors change, and we do an ls, and here's spam So I say python spam chop.py. And um, again, there's no input here. Let's run that again python spam chop.py. So there we go. So that basically says that the position of this letter is at position 18. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just sort of say, okay, let's chop off the first part. Print x, and we're going to use string slicing, pos colon, which says start at position and move to the end. So I'll save that one, and I'll run it. And that looks pretty close. We got rid of most of it, but we still don't. We still don't have the comp, the colon. So we got to chop off one after the position of the colon. We actually are not interested in the colon, so we just add one here, and then we go spam chop. Now we're going to see if the float cares about this. I don't think so, but we'll find out. Num equals float, um, and I'm just going to say x of position plus 1, because I can give it an expression here, to the end. And let's see what happens. Print num. So what do you think is going to happen? Things going to work? Things going to blow up? Think these spaces at the front are going to freak it out? Let's find out. No, the spaces don't freak it out. So we now have a number. And if I did a... Oops, I did a print of type just for, to be sort of like obsessively compulsive. I could say num comma type of num and 
So proven to me, and I can I can um, comment these guys out. We don't really need those guys anymore. And that is a floating point number, and it's all parsed, and it's cool. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? You go find where this thing is, advance one character beyond it, and then slice it out. Simple enough. Thanks for your time.